What up, what up, what up? This is your guy, King David, Trapmaster, Trapmaster.com. And here today, actually, um, <clears throat> excuse my voice. I'm coming down with a cold, but um, I wanted to do this uh, special request video. It was uh, someone asked in the comments, how do you uh, wire um, a Fetrix into your other sounds and utilize the effects through a Fetrix? Um, so what you would have to do really is just creating a bus uh, track. So... I'm going to play the track right here. I just did a little demo sound just for the, the sake of this tutorial, so. <clears throat> Alright, so. Um, we have that particular uh, key sound. And um, what I'm going to do is just pull up a Fetrix. And uh, it's going to be in Sugar Bite. All right. Now what you want to do is you want to go to this tab right here, and then click on Group. And what you're going to do is come up here and then change, because this is the originally where the sound is at, the MIDI information, and this is where Fetrix is at. You see right here. So you want to go to Group B and then select a Fetrix. So all the sounds that's coming from out of group B <clears throat> will, uh, <clears throat> like I said, be routed to C. <clears throat> Excuse me. So once that's done, you come back to sound. And the reason why I'm having you go to group is because a lot of times if you do the drums and, and it's in sound, it's in the sound mode, it's only going to select that one sound, like whatever that pad is on. And you might not want to affect just that one drum sample. So it's just kind of best to just put it in group and then do that. So, all right. And what I want to do is open up a Fetrix. Now, I have my own setup, uh, MIDI information, um, how I like to do things. So I'll just bring this up. And uh, at this point, I'm able to trigger it through the keyboard as it's playing. See what happened is you can actually record it in like this. I know he had also asked um, how to be able to trigger the MIDI in it. So what I had to do was turn keyboard pattern on because beforehand, my bad, trigger. You want to turn the trigger of MIDI on and turn the pattern keys on, and then. Stop this. <clears throat> Once you do that, you just go and assign each key to um, to be your effect. So you'll just physically just tap whatever key if you want to be in C, and then add that effect into C, and then go up the keyboard as you go, and just add different effects and just set your own knobs, and then save it as a preset if you want to do it that way. But that's how you're able to um, trigger the uh, the effects in the Fetrix once the sounds are going through it. So I'm gonna uh, record this in. That's my MIDI notes right there. So it's all the MIDI information 
um, right there on the track um, for you to, you know, manipulate it or however you want to do it from there. Pretty much all Sugar Bites uh, instruments are like that. Looper, uh, Looperator is like that. Um, a lot of their products is set up like that where you can run the sounds, bust the sounds through through it and then utilize the effects that it have in it and um, different patterns and things that it does. So um, hopefully, you know, like hopefully this helps uh, the guy that had asked me about um, Effectrix and how to route the sounds through it. But that's exactly how you do it. So I'm gonna take you back through this step one more time. Um, you have your sounds, <clears throat> and then you can easily just make your new group or whatever, and then just add Effectrix in on the sound tab. And once you have that there, you want to click this little tab right here and go to group. And from group, the output of group, you'll see Effectrix in there. You select that, you can come back out of there, just reverse everything you just did, go back to uh, Effectrix and you can open it up and then start messing around with the effects. But in order to be able to trigger the MIDI stuff, you have to make sure that your target, uh, uh, your, your trigger MIDI is on and also your pattern keys is on. And um, you just set everything up from there. Um, set up your own default templates how you want it and then save it or you can use some of the uh, the stock stuff they have in here so um, let me clear this out so you know if you don't really want that like the stock sounds a lot of times you have to go and turn them back on and stuff like that and if you only want to play during a certain time then just turn them on. And since I have it on C1, I'm just triggering it. So, you know what I'm saying? If you want to utilize any of the other uh, effects that they have in it by default, you can just do it like that. Because I know, as you can see, <clears throat> by default it was off and it's automatically just gonna play like that if you select it but you can just go and turn them on and just trigger it by the key just know what key you're on to trigger it <clears throat> and you win it from there so uh this is your guy king david try monster try monster.com till next time peace